right now I am on the Romanska train heading towards Hakone Yumoto station and today's gonna be a really exciting day. If you have been on my channel for a while you probably know who Amanda is, she's in quite a few of my vlogs. Well today her boyfriend Yuji is proposing to her and I'm going to Hakone to kind of secretly film the proposal and I'm gonna take you along with me and hopefully she will say yes. Just arrived in Hakone! Met Amanda and Yuji, yes. who is deep in conversation. Hey! Don't bother the BFFs. Hey. <laughs> so, this whole day trip from Tokyo was planned by Yuji. Yuji's feeling adventurous today. Look at him. And the proposal was, of course, kept a secret from Amanda. John and I knew because we wanted to film it so they would have some good memories to look back on. After exploring the Hakone Yumoto station area, our next stop was the Hakone Botanical Garden of Wetlands. So I am in one of the less glamorous locations in Hakone, which is the toilets next to the train station. What does this mean? Why? Who fishes in the toilet? We are getting on a bus! So we just got on the bus and we're going to the Botanical Gardens. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> Make sure that the squirrel statue doesn't um, escape. I thought it was a real squirrel on a leash. I was like, that is not ethical. <laughs> that is that whoa, is... it did. It did look like a real one for a second. That's not a squirrel, it's a beaver. Oh, it's a very small beaver then. You can tell by the tail. He's like, stop looking at me. This place is so pretty. I think Yuji wants to go up into the grasslands. Celebrate! Wait, we left the location. I like this one. <laughs> yeah. That's no. gonna be your wedding present. Oh no! Oh no, we don't want it. Ooh, I like that one. It kind of looks like a tree outside of uh, my house. Ooh, that's pretty too. I mean, they, these are very old, so I don't care. But like, what is like in it? And you, uh, it's like it's like circles like, all over my leg. We're hungry.
arrived to Ninja Cafe. Oh, Ninja. So there is one is like this. <laughs> Come bike. Come bike. I have been to Hakone multiple times at this point and I still never get bored. Even though it's a really popular destination for hot springs, Hakone also has a lot to offer in terms of art and green spaces. That is why our next stop was the Hakone Open Air Museum. It showcases sculptures and interactive artworks alongside the surrounding natural scenery. Is this genuinely what it means? Oh god. Birth? Maybe. Oh. I was yeah. a C-section baby, so I can't relate. Yeah. We're coming out into the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's supposed to be like. Here we go. Yeah. Our favorite artwork was the symphonic sculpture. It's a tall tower housing a spiral staircase. As you walk up, you are surrounded by an array of colors coming from its stained glass walls. So this is a beautiful staircase of stained glass. Very pretty. It goes very, very high. When you make it to the top, you are rewarded with an incredible view over the park. That was fun. I highly recommend that. Second highlight of the outdoor sculpture park. What was the first? Uh, the uh, stained glass place. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Whoa! Whoa! Yep. Wow, our sculptures look amazing. <laughs> they merged like, together, I think. Oh, yeah. Is it the same one yeah, on the side? Wait, this is going to go through the entire alphabet. I cannot do that. Whoa! That's cool. Oh, it's just me and Amanda now. That is mine. What? Oh, that's mine. As you see, that's yeah. terrifying. amazing job planning this proposal. We had a really good day and I would love to come back again. I have linked Amanda's wedding videos down below in the description box. Her and Yuji got married last year and the vlogs are really beautiful so please check them out. This day was a very fun day. The engagement was wonderful and now we're heading back to Tokyo. So I will probably sleep for the next hour and a half because I am super tired because we did so much stuff. Um, and then afterwards, we're going to grab some dinner and maybe some drinks and celebrate the day. So this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hakone is a great day trip from Tokyo. There is so much to do and see in this area. I am sure that you would love it as well. I recommend taking the Romanskar train as that is the quickest and easiest way to get there. It's also really scenic. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.